What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today we are checking out my first ever Harley Davidson, Harley Davidson Sportster 883 Iron. This is the first time I've ever ridden a Harley Davidson and I am pumped. I've already ridden it, I've rented this bike courtesy of Rent This Bike. Uh, I'll link them down below, shout out to Carl and all of his staff there, they've all been very helpful. Uh, and I'll link them down below. If you're ever in the Brisbane area and you're looking to rent out a motorbike, go check them out. So, Harley Davidson Iron 883. Let's see what it's all about. So, Iron 883, let's talk specs. Uh, V-twin engine, 883cc's, air-cooled, all made it to a five-speed gearbox. And uh, how does it perform? Well, it's got the torque, and it goes. Majority of the speed limits around Australia is, uh, is 60 kilometers per hour. And um, I find myself getting to 60 quite quickly. Highway riding, very good as well. Uh, again, I mean, Compared to a naked, it's very good, but obviously it could be better with a with with shield and everything like that uh, to deflect the wind off your chest. Um, riding position, it's sort of a mixture. I, I found it a bit awkward at first when I was trying to ride this, uh, when I was leaving the rental place. I found it a bit awkward. Uh, it's a cross between sort of your standard cruiser uh, riding position and a sort of a standard naked bike riding position uh, what I mean is the handlebars is sort of at your like a cruiser sort of riding position but then the pegs they are positioned in sort of a similar to what you find on most naked bikes so yeah it's it was a little bit of getting used to but now that I've ridden it for let's see how many how many kilometers have we done 47.9 kilometers so far uh, yeah, I, it, uh, <laughs> I'm getting used to it, still getting used to it. Uh, one thing I will note, I've really ha had trouble trying to find neutral in this bike. I don't know what it is, uh, it's probably me, but I could not find neutral if my life depended on it when it comes to this bike. Um, the only way I, was, uh, I managed to find neutral was if I, you know, sitting at a light, clutch in and you sort of give the engine a little bit of revs, and you click the gear up, gear lever up, and then it clicks into neutral. So I don't know what that's all about. Um, well, this is a good test. Can you filter in an Iron883? Yes, you can. Look at that. Oh, all right. Someone's screeching the tires back there. Uh, real quick, guys, hit the subscribe button and leave a like if you're enjoying the video so far. Uh, thank you for all of you who subscribed so far and hope you've enjoyed the previous videos if you haven't I'll Link them down below go check them out uh, so what else so uh, Fuel range I've been told is about I've been told to fill up once it hits about 200 kilometers and The fuel light apparently comes on around 218 kilometers the fuel capacity is 12 and a half liters uh, and you'd expect yeah probably around the 200 kilometer mark is when you want to start refueling this but yeah fuel range isn't the greatest but it's not bad either I mean, compared to say the 48 this one's distant cousin that has a seven and a half liter tank I believe it's tiny it's got that peanut tank on it uh, real quick these are the gauges so you got trip A trip B the clock and gear slash rpm uh, now i found this one a bit weird uh, it doesn't exactly it tells you what gear you're in but it's more or less tells you what gear you should be in if that makes sense all right buddy really wow um yeah it's really weird so obviously it tells the rpms that's fine 
but it's not the most accurate on the, as far as my experience so far in terms of telling you what gear you should be in like I come to a stop and I'll be in first gear and it'll still read third gear so it's some sort of calculation thing it just figures out the speed versus RPM you're doing and then sort of says oh yeah this is the gear you're probably in that's what that's the way I describe this it tells you what gear you're probably in not necessarily what gear you are in um, but yeah, it's, it's good to have downshifts are pretty good easy to downshift very very good handling is what I've found so far very nimble and man that the power man I mean I've never ridden a Harley Davidson this is my first and I'll tell you it's good it's really good although you know hit those there's a little bit of gripes I've had here and there like find the neutral it's a pain in the butt this guy's right in my ass come on doing 60 so what is it ride like um well like i said very easy to maneuver in my opinion the ride is very comfortable um i would say yeah compared to my mt07 this seat is nice Oh, sorry, sorry. Noise. That's how you say it. <laughs> of course, as I'm sure everyone is aware, it does have, it does vibrate a lot. It definitely needs louder pipes, that's for sure. The stock pipes do this engine a disservice. Weight wise, uh, 276 kilos wet. Um, yeah, I mean, compared to an MT07, which is I think about 180, is almost just under 100 kilo kilograms more heavier than something like an MT07, for example. But the majority of that weight is down low, so the center of gravity is quite low on this bike. Uh, which makes it, again, that's why it makes it sort of very easy to maneuver, very easy to handle um, but does have a bit of weight to it, so definitely be careful nonetheless uh, Brakes are very confident, inspiring, there's definitely no fade, it's not mushy uh, compared to say MT07 again. I should do a count of every time I say MT07. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, leave a like, subscribe, and yeah, let me know what you think down below in the comments. I'll catch you guys in the next one.